Shoot, I say with a groan. The gizmo is back. I feel like I'm having a terrible nightmare. There is a big man standing nearby. He's huge and tough looking. He stares at me as if I'm a bit mad. Talking to myself like that. Suddenly, two things happen. The gizmo beeps, and the tough guy falls to the ground and starts screaming. He's yelling and howling in agony. He is pulling at his feet, trying to get his shoes off. He pulls off one shoe, and then he starts on the next, but it won't budge. What has happened to the poor guy? I mean, I've had a stone or two in my own shoes, but I've never carried on like this. His face is screwed up in agony. Tears are squeezing out of his eyes. Get it off! Get it off! He yells. He's waving his shoe at me as if it is filled with hot lead. I rush over and grab the shoe. It's on tight. Terribly, horribly tight. The laces are undone, but the shoe won't budge. I pull and strain and struggle. Suddenly it comes off with a pop, and I fall backwards. I look at the shoe. Then I drop it in fright. A cold feeling has come over me. The shoe is about ten times too small for his huge foot. And I've seen that shoe before. It's my shoe. It's my own. I stare down at my feet. I am wearing a pair of boots about ten sizes too big for me. And I'm not the only one staring at them. The big guy grabs me. And he lifts me up by the ankles. I'm hanging there like a dead chook. He shakes me up and down. Pulls off the boots and drops me onto my head. And it hurts like crazy. The big guy stomps off down the road. I don't know who you did that, he says, but it wasn't funny. Not funny at all. I pick up my own shoe and put them back on. He was right. This is not a funny situation. I'm in big trouble. I just don't know what to do. I sit down and I think. The gizmo starts to hum and it means trouble. It hums for about 20 seconds. Then it beeps. Then I get a bit of the nearest person's clothes. And they get a bit of mine. The striped socks must have come from the jogger. I went home with his, and he ran off with mine. I just give the on button another press, and it makes a squealing noise. I hope I've not made things worse, but I think I might have. I must get rid of the gizmo. It just keeps returning to its owner. No, it doesn't. I'm not the owner. I'm its stealer, and I'm in big trouble. Finally, I get it. Finally... I realise what is going on. The gizmo will always return to the person who stole it. I will have to go back and tell Dad. He'll know what to do. But he will give me a big lecture. He will go on and on about stealing. I will never hear the end of it. I look around for someone to help. Give me a bit of advice. Down the street, I can see a cloud of flies. Under the flies is a tramp. He wears a battered old hat that looks like a half-open can of beans. He has whiskers and an old coat with holes in it, and trousers with the knees showing. He is whistling and walking along with his dog. The tramp has seen a kind face. He looks like he has been around, seen a few things. Maybe he can help. Maybe he's come across a gizmo before. I head off in his direction. Hey, I say, have you ever heard of a gizmo? I hold it up for him to see. The tramp gives a grin and shows his yellow teeth. He looks at the gizmo, which begins to hum even louder than before. Oh, no, I yell. No, 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 no. I turn and start to run down the street. I throw the gizmo into the air. I hear it beep. Suddenly I fall. I trip over my long trousers. 